Hello, Bruin Nation. I'm Katie Stevens, the principal of Bernheim Middle School, and I'm here with Miss Jennifer Harrison, my assistant principal. Hey, Miss Harrison. Uh, how are y'all doing? We are so excited to be talking about getting back to in-person learning. So what you'll see on the screen here is our News Bites blog, and I'm going to go ahead and take us to the BMS Healthy at School plan. So as you all know, we are in the COVID-19 new normal world, and we know that we're going to keep everybody as safe as we possibly can. We are cleaning everything, disinfecting everything. Um, we got things ready for kids when they come back, but we really need to explain some of that to you all. So one of the very first things that we need to talk about is mask wearing. Ms. Harrison, you want to talk to us a little bit about mask wearing? All right. So your masks must be on and worn at all times from the moment you get to the bus stop until you leave and go home and get off at the bus stop. With that, you have to wear them at all times unless you're having lunch or breakfast with us. And we hate it, but you have to. And it's got to be snug. It's got to be up over your nose, down under your chin, and strapped off to the side. Please make sure while there's so many cool and wonderful designs that you are being, that you make sure you're wearing a mask that is appropriate and following our school dress of code guidelines, please. That is exactly right. So guys, let's just go ahead and say what it is. We know they're not comfortable. We know that they make our face feel a little scratchy sometimes, but it's really important so that we can keep everybody safe and keep school open and in session. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about then is there, are those health checks and school exclusions. Um, so when you go, if you're a bus rider, your bus driver or the bus assistant is going to take your temperature. And if you have a temperature greater than 100.4, you're gonna need to stay home. So, uh, and most every parent has signed that assurance form through your online registration. So that's really important. So just pay attention to the symptoms that you have. Um, if you're sick, stay home. That's just all there is to it. If you're sick, stay home. And this year, it's really important to understand if kids have a fever, you guys need to be fever free for 72 hours. That is three days, fever free for 72 hours before coming back to school. So we know you want to be here. We want you here too, but we also want you healthy and we want to keep everybody healthy as well. So on to the next topic, which is going to be buses and car riders. Go ahead, Ms. Harrison. This one's all you. So as everybody knows, I'm outside of buses all the time. When you get off the bus this year, we're going to let them loose a little bit at a time, just a couple buses at a time to lessen our congestion. And instead of going and congregating in the gym or in the cafeteria, as we usually do, all the students are immediately going to go straight to their first class of the day, which is advisory. Now, students filled out a breakfast survey for us the other day, and the students that filled that out, we will give them an assigned area and seat if they're going to eat breakfast. So when it's time, car riders will come in, and there was a video we posted the other day demonstrating our procedures for getting coming into school. So this you will be met right by a faculty staff member, they will take your temperature, they will give you a little squirt of hand sanitizer if you're good to go, and you will enter through the eighth grade hallway, which is a little different than normal. Parents, you will line up in two lines like they do in the afternoon as well. Afternoon dismissal is going to be pretty similar. Two lines from the car rider, and they'll get them out real quick. Buses, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get them out, get them on the bus, and send them on their way. This year, though, we won't put all the second wave buses in the cafeteria. We'll spread them out further for distance purposing while we're waiting for the second waves. That is exactly right. And remember, guys, the watch that video about the car rider line. It's different for the morning for sure. Um, so breakfast and lunch, we remember we are a CEP school, which means everybody gets free lunch. And right now our school district has a program where everybody gets free lunch. So um, free lunch and breakfast. So that's any kid in your household. So um, you can go to the BCPS Food Service Facebook page and they have updates there. So we do wanna talk about though, um, if you're still wanting to bring your own lunch to school, Guys, you gotta bring cold stuff because there isn't any microwaves available in the lunchroom anymore. We will have kids socially distanced, spread out all through the cafeteria and the stage and in the gym. So we've got lots of space for you guys to eat. You can take off your masks and you can eat lunch in there um, and breakfast as well. So if you are a Bullet Cloud Academy kiddo though, we do want to make sure that you guys are in contact with Miss Connie and she'll tell you about how to pick up those meals for at home. All right. 
some out and in information. Our water fountains have been turned off. They have installed instead water bottle filling stations. So students need to come with a clear water bottle that has their names on them so we know who's is who's if they get left. And we will have those, we have three water bottle filling stations available to students. I would recommend filling that water bottle up at home before you come to make sure that they're full before the first class of the day. We won't be having lockers at least until January. So that's just to keep the congestion in the hallway and, and touching things and so forth. So we're asking, instead of their normal backpack, we're going just a cinch sack with one of those small drawstring backpacks to carry from class to class with them. Cell phones will be with them, and we know this, but we ask that just as normal, they're turned off and they're in those backpacks, and they're not using them throughout the day. Parents, if you need to get a hold of it, your student, you just simply call the school, and we'll get in touch with the student for you. Um, we will also be traveling in groups or cohorts, so the students will be together throughout the day from one class to the other for contact tracing purposes, so we'll know who's with it. That's exactly right. So, and I know some kids have already asked, so how about when we go to the restroom? Well, we're going to go back to the 10-10 rule, which means you won't go in between classes and 10 minutes after class gets started. If you need to go, your teacher will give you permission to go and then 10 minutes before the end of class. Again, that's when the bathroom time will kind of be cut off. And that gives us time to clean everything and to monitor things really well. Because again, our number one priority is to keep you safe and healthy. Keep and that means you have to wear your mask while you're in the restroom as well. That That is true. That is very true. So social distancing is when you're six feet apart. And the truth of the matter is that we're just not going to be able to be six feet apart very much. But we are going to try and incorporate some mask breaks throughout the day, especially while this weather is so wonderful. So we'll go outside, spread out, have a little bit of time, take that mask off. Um, and that's going to kind of be rotating. So um, we want to do that as much as we can. But of course, if the weather's bad, that doesn't happen. So here's a question. What if somebody has COVID? What if somebody gets COVID? So anytime that there is a COVID positive test, the health department is going to be contacting folks and doing some contact tracing, which is why our kids are traveling in dens and they're staying together. The teachers are going to keep in really tight seating charts. Um, so that's really important. If we wear our masks and we hand sanitize and we follow everybody's instructions, we should stay healthy. Please do know that on our school website and on the district's reopening website, there's a little COVID-19 student report. And there's a form there linked. If you know your child has COVID, we're asking that everybody please fill that out so that we can keep up with that contact tracing. And even if your kid just has a fever or they're sick, you go ahead and fill that out you know, call in and it's just going to help us keep up with whatever symptoms are out there. Um, we know it's going to be flu season. We know allergies are out there. We know not everything is COVID, but we're just asked to kind of track those things through that particular form. If your kiddo is sick, if they come to the office and they say, Ms. Stevens, I don't feel good. Um, we've got an isolation room for kids where that might have a symptom. And we're asking that every single parent have multiple contacts of someone that can come pick their child up. Um, in the event that they're sick or they might have some of the symptoms. And you all know as well as we know that it seems like all those COVID symptoms are the same as the flu symptoms, the same as allergy symptoms. So basically in effort to keep everybody safe, we just have to treat everything real seriously. So that's kind of where we are. And again, kind of going back to the big thing, which is we are super excited to get to see kids. And if it means wearing masks, if it means hand sanitizing all the time, then we'll do it because we just want your kids here in the house and we can't wait to get in back to get back to business as close to normal as it can possibly be. So please do, if you're interested in reading the rest of this and all the details, please do check this out. This is on BMS News Bites, our blog spot. It's right under here, underneath BMS Healthy at School Plan. It is also on the BCPS reopening site. There's a lot more details there. So um, that's it. That's what we've got. So please feel free to email myself or Ms. Harrison or both or all of us, and we will get back with you as quick as we possibly can because the bottom line is we are ready to be game on, Bruin Nation. We cannot wait to see the Bruins in the house. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great